What's up, YouTube? Welcome back to the Chance Bishop Show for episode 45 of our MLB The Show 23 Baltimore Orioles franchise mode here on the channel. Uh, the Orioles, uh, they are in the ALCS yet again, and they're going to be taking on either the Red Sox or the Guardians. That's what last episode ended with, so we're going to be figuring out which team we will be taking on here in this episode. So it's going to be a fun postseason run here for Baltimore. Uh, they swept the New York Yankees. Can they sweep another? Not, not going to sweep another division rival. Uh, but they'll be taking on the Cleveland Guardians. All right, there's a lot of a lot of big names in that Guardians team, depending on who they decide to keep around. Shane Bieber, Jose Swingin' Ramirez. You know, they got Josh Naylor. There's a lot of, there's a lot of upside on this team. Terry Francona, he's still here managing uh, the Guardians. That's what you like to see there for Scary Terry Francona. Now the Baltimore Orioles, uh, their bench, they're rocking, they're rolling. They're ready to get this one underway. Jack Leiter, he's out there giving some words of encouragement uh, to the hitters. Now Tristan McKenzie, he is going to be the Game 1 starter, followed by Sixto Sanchez. Speaking of Sixto, the kind of forgotten starter in this rotation. 32 starters, respectable 14-8. A 3.82 ERA, 195 innings pitched, 187 hits, a 124 whip, 56 walks, 180 punch outs. So Sanchez, like I said, that forgotten member of this rotation behind Rodriguez and Jack Leiter, so even Clayton Kershaw. I uh, guess the first batter, Jose Ramirez, who's leading off for some reason to ground out. So Jose, the DH, is leading off, followed by Vinny Pasquantino. Quan's in left, Robert's in center, Cabrian's at third, Adolis is in right. Tyler Freeman's at short. Tamara Johnson is at second. And Bo Naylor, he is behind the plate. Vinny Pasquatino, he strikes that swing in there. So that's going to be two up, two down. Now up comes left fielder Stephen Kwan, who will put that one on the ground. Gunner fields it from the bag. He's over to first in time. That's a 1-2-3 first inning. Tristan McKenzie, so far, one win. He's got a nine-inning shutout where he allowed one hit, one walk. Seven punch outs. He's averaging a .22 whip. So let's hope the Baltimore offense can do better here than they did against the Yankees. Uh, but Gunner leads things off with a punch out. He's batting an abysmal 143 so far in the playoffs. Now following up Gunner is going to be Elijah Green, who will send that one to right field. That's a slider out of the zone there. That's going to be a fly out. Four, two up, two down now for McKenzie. So now a two out here in the bottom of the first inning. Take a look at the lineup for the Orioles. You got Gunner at third, Elijah in center, Holiday's at short, Rushman's catching, Torkelson's at first, Mayo is DH, and Kerstad's in right, Acuna's at second, and Drew Jones, son of Andrew Jones, is in left. Jackson Holiday strikes out to end the first inning. That's a 1 2 3 first inning here for Tristan McKenzie. So now we have Sixto back up, taking on uh, Luis Robert, who grounds that one to Ronald, Acuna bro Ronald Acuna's brother for out number one. So one up, one down. Now that's four straight for Sixto Sanchez, retired. And he's looking to keep this game going. It's going to be Cabrian Hayes striking out right there. Big punch out on the slider. And there you go. Second punch out so far of the game. Five up, five down now in a row for Sixto Sanchez. And the right fielder Adolis Garcia will strike out as well. So it's three strikeouts through two innings now for Sixto as we're heading on to the bottom of the second. Adley Rutschman's due up now. Rutschman, who has a full count, pops this one up. That's going to be an infield pop-up on the left side. Tyler Freeman's got it. And Tyler Freeman makes the catch there for out number one. So one out now here in the bottom of the second. As we have Torkelson up, who's batting 500. And Torque puts that one on the ground. Freeman's got it. Over to first to Pasquatino, who backhands it in time uh, for two outs now here in the inning. So two up, two down now for Cody Mayo. And Mayo will strike out as well. Six up, six down now for Tristan McKenzie as he is matching Sixto Sanchez's energy. Tyler Freeman, the shortstop, we were just talking about him a couple times. He strikes out looking. So big out number one there set by Sixto Sanchez. And Sanchez now following suit. Tamar Johnson, who will put that one on the ground. Fueled up by Gunner, who clutches, fires the first in time. And there you go. That's two outs now here in the third. And can Sixto Sanchez go nine up, nine down to start this one? Fingers crossed here. Bo Naylor, the catcher, will strike out swinging. And that's going to end here the inning with a fifth punch out of the game for Sixto Sanchez. 
has then cursed that up now and cursed that will pop this one up down the right field line right fielder comes all the way in for it and that's going to be a lazy fly out to start off the third so seven up seven down for the orioles as now we have Luis on Acuna, who will put that one in play that one's fielded by Cabrian Hayes. That's going to be two outs now here in the inning. Two outs now here in the inning as the nine-hole hitter, Drew Jones, is due up, batting a .083. Sends that one to right field. That one gets down. Takes a couple hops. Cut off by Luis Robert in center. Doesn't matter, though. Drew Jones too fast. He has himself a two-out double. So Jones standing there on second base with the double. You like to see that. Now up comes Gunner with the full count. Gunner puts that one in play. And Drew Jones is going to score with ease on the RBI single here with two outs in the inning. Small ball baseball right there. That's why you put your fast guys at the bottom of the top of the lineup. That's what you like to see. Now Elijah Green's up and Green sends that one to center field. Uh, but Louise Robert, he's got that one nice and easy. So... The Orioles, they score first now. Jose Ramirez, he's back up, sends that one uh, to left center field. Drew Jones makes the catch, and that's going to be out number one. Well, one out now here in the inning, uh, following the Jose flyout. Vinny Pasquantino's up now, and Pasquantino will pop this one up. Foul grounds behind home plate. Uh, Rutschman on the ALCS logo makes the catch, and there you go. That's going to be three and two-thirds straight innings without a base runner. Now Stephen Kwan, who's 0 for 1, will strike out as well. And that's going to be 12 up, 12 down now for Sixto Sanchez on the mound. Sanchez dominant on the mound so far. Now bottom of the fourth inning, Jackson Holiday up in Holiday. Sends that high fastball to center field. Robert comes in, and he's going to make the catch for out number one in the fourth. One up, one down now here in the fourth inning. As up comes Ali Rutschman, who's 0 for 1. Make that uh, 0 for 2. Yep, Tamar Johnson. Over to first base in time for out number two in this one. All right, so two down now here in the bottom of the fourth inning. Up comes Spence Torkelson, who is 0 for 1. 70th pitch of the campaign is going to be issued a walk for Tristan McKenzie right there. Torkelson's now on first base. McKenzie at 73 pitches now, and that's going to be hit down the right field line. That one's going to get down. One hop into the corner. Runners are going to be on second and third now. Torgerson's going to round third, head home, and he's going to be gunned down to end the fourth. Yeah, Dolis got a cannon. Luis Robert leads things off with a strikeout there. That is 99 high. And there you go, seventh punch out of the game. Cabrian Hayes, who's 0 for 1, will ground this one to Gunnar Henderson, who's going to double clutch it, go to first in time. And there you go, that's going to be two outs here in this fifth inning now. Sixto Sanchez, you know, he's he's doing what he was paid to do. Adolis Garcia, who is 0 for 1, will strike out swinging. So massive punch out right there of Adolis Garcia. Yes, there you go, a lot of emotion from Sixto. Bottom of the fifth now, 2-2 two -two count to Kerstad, and Kerstad's going to watch strike three come through high. That's going to be the fourth punch out of the game now for Tristan McKenzie. Luis Angel Acuna will put that one on the ground. That one's going to bleed up to the shortstop throw will be in time just beating Acuna and here we go Drew Jones who will watch the strike go right down the middle slider right down the middle gets Jones that's gonna end the fifth inning here one two three go uh, the Orioles and we are on to the top of the sixth inning now in this one so on to the top of the sixth inning we're gonna have Tyler Freeman lead things off with called strike three big punch out right there for Sixto Sanchez his ninth on the day and following that up with Tamar Johnson, full count, and that one is way too far outside. And that's going to be ball four. First walk issued by six dump. Bo Naylor, 2-2 two -two count. There you go. That's ten strikeouts through five and two-thirds innings here for Sixto Sanchez. Now Jose Ramirez, ground ball to Acuna. Acuna goes to second with it, and that's going to be the end of the six now following the ground down. Gunnar Henderson, 1-2 count now. He's going to watch strike three go by for the 92nd pitch of the campaign for Tristan McKenzie. He's got six punch outs. Elijah Green full count. Takes that middle, middle fastball deep left center field. That one's going to get down. One hops the wall. That is going to be a one out double for the center fielder Elijah Green. So Green standing on second base now here for the Baltimore Orioles, followed by Jackson Holiday, who will chop that one to the second baseman, who picks it out of the air. That's going to be the second out now here in this one. So there's two outs now here 
four hole hitter Adley Rutschman's due up and Rutschman puts that one on the ground if that one gets through it it does that is going to be an RBI single there for Adley Rutschman as Elijah Green scores with ease from second base so big old RBI single and out comes uh, Terry Francona as Tristan McKenzie's day is done so two runs allowed here for Tristan McKenzie bunch of small ball not a lot of home runs or anything you know, moderate strikeouts, like six strikeouts through his campaign here. A couple walks. Now comes Zach Plesak. So nine games, one win, and a blown save so far in the regular season. 21 innings and a 5-14 ERA for Plesak. He's making his first appearance so far in the playoffs, uh, which is strange that we're in, you know, the second round. But, hey, it is what it is. Uh, but first batter up. Uh, he's going to ground out that one to the shortstop to end the inning. Top of the seventh, Vinny Pasquantino chops that one to Holiday, who backhands it, fields it, goes the first with it, and that's going to be in time for out number one. So one out now via the ground out. And up comes Stephen Kwan, who will chop that one to Acuna, fielding that one, going the first in time, and that's going to be two quick outs now here in the seventh inning uh, for Sixto Sanchez. So Sixto Sanchez has retired, everyone he's faced so far. Luis Robert up, and Robert flies this one to a shallow right field, and Acuna makes the catch. On to the bottom of the seventh inning now, as it is going to be still 2-0. Cody Mayo sends that one deep left field. That one's back, very deep, and very gone, clearing the bullpen out there in left center field. That is going to be a 445-foot bomb, 106 miles an hour off the bat. First home run of the postseason uh, for the DH, Kobe Mayo. So Mayo sends that one into the outfield. You love to see that there as Baltimore extends their lead 3 to nothing. 3 nothing lead now here for the Baltimore Orioles. And up comes Heston Kerstead. 1-2 count and Kerstead swings through the high fastball. That is going to be the first out of the inning. First strikeout for Plesak in the inning as well. Luis Angel Acuna who's 0-2 for 2, is up and Acuna sends that one down the left field line. And that one's going to be caught for out number 2 here in the 7th. So two out now in the seventh inning. Up comes Drew Jones. He's one for two on the day, and Jones puts that one on the ground up the middle, and that's a base knock there with two outs in the inning. Keeping the inning alive, forcing Plesak to throw extra pitches, something he probably doesn't want to do. Gunner's up, and Gunner puts that one into play. That one's going to get down. Now he's going to get past the right fielder, and Gunner can run. Gunner rounding second. He's going to go for third. Runner from first is going to score. There you go, RBI triple from Gunnar Henderson. It's 4-0 now for the Baltimore Orioles. Trevor Stefan, he comes out of the pen so far in the postseason. Three games, 3-30 three innings pitched, a 5.40 ERA. Seven strikeouts to one walk here for Trevor Stefan. So Stefan there now on the mound. The veteran right-hander takes on Elijah Green, who will put that one on the ground. And that one will finally end the inning. Baltimore scores a couple in the seventh here as we're on to the top of the eighth. Now Cabrian Hayes, he's due up in Sanchez. He strikes out Cabrian Hayes with the changeup right there, right down the middle. Adolis Garcia on the 104th pitch sends that one deep to right field. Kerstead's at the wall. He's looking up, and that one's going to be over his head off the top of the wall. And Garcia has himself a one-out double here in the eighth inning. First hit of the game for the Guardians. Tyler Freeman up, and Freeman goes down swinging. There's now two outs here in this one. As Tamar Johnson sends that one deep right center field. That one's back. Green giving chase. Green looking up, and Green going to watch that one fly. That is a two-run home run for Tamar Johnson, uh, the former Pittsburgh Pirate prospect. But there you go, Johnson. Rounding third base. He's heading home on that one. That is a two-run home run that cuts Baltimore's lead in half. Yeah, so after a big seventh inning, yeah, Sixto kind of blows it in this one. Next better up, Bo Naylor flies out to left field, and that's going to end the eighth inning. Lead down now the two runs. Bottom of the eighth here, Jackson Holiday. He's going to pop things up here in this one. That's going to be the first out in the eighth. So one down now here in the eighth after the fly out to Cabrian Hayes at third base. Now it's going to be a 3-1 count to R R Rutschman, and Rutschman ends up on first via the walk. So Stefan gets his first base runner on base. Now it's Torkelson who will drive that one to left center field. That one's in the gap. That one's back. That one will be caught by the center fielder. And that one's going to be out number two. 
So two outs now here, runner on first base still. Next up will be the six-hole hitter, uh, Kobe May, who's homered in his last at-bat. Grounder up the middle, and that's going to bleed through. Runners will be on first and second here with two outs. And we're going to try and keep this inning alive. Try to score maybe another insurance run, just something, just to kind of bridge it to Craig Kimbrell. James Karchinyak, he is, or Kar, Karinchak? Karinchak, Karinchak, I don't know. James is in, two games, two and a third, two strikeouts and a walk. Lefty's batting a buck, uh, 250 against him. All right, we have Kerstead up now, and Kerstead, he drives that one right center field. That one's back at the wall, and that one's going to end up on the concourse. And Baltimore, they jump out to a five-run lead on the second home run of the postseason here by Heston Kerstead. Kerstead there, rounding third. He's coming back into this one. And there you go, Baltimore. They blow this one wide open late in this game. That's what you like to see. Second home run of the postseason for Kerstad right there. It's now a five-run lead. Acuna's up now, and Acuna sends that one left center field, and that one gets down. That one's going to roll around there in the corner. Uh, the ball just miraculously jumps up into the you know, center fielder's glove. Acuna has himself a nice, easy double. And there you go, two-out double runner on second base. Drew Jones up now, and Jones puts that one in play. Grounder the Freeman, throw will be in time, and the eighth is finally over. Craig Kimbrell, not a save situation, uh, but he already got warmed up, so might as well use him. Big knuckle curve, strikes out Jose Ramirez. That's what you like to see out of Jose. Big flailing strikeout. Pasquantino will strike out on the fastball up and in. Back-to-back -back punch outs for Craig here. And now we have two outs here uh, for Stephen Kwan, who will strike out looking. One, two, three, go the Guardians. As Kimbrell just closes the door on them. The door is more or less closed already. And there you go. Overpowered Craig Kimbrell was. That is what you would call that. Overpowering uh, your opposition. Uh, but Baltimore wins game one here at Camden Yards. The Guardians, they drop it game one. It's not going to be a fun hole to dig themselves out of. But 7-2 is the final score. 6 there with the win. McKenzie with the loss. That is just not what you wanted to see out of these, out of this game. You know, it was a very close game up to that eighth inning. Oh, when Baltimore side, they're going to start hitting offense. You know, I think, you know, McKenzie, you know, did allow two earned runs, shut out the last team he played. He did not have as good of a game against his, you know, ALDS opponent. But if you guys are just upset with that like button, comment down below, text me, you know, peace out, rock on, stay super classy, catch you on the next